Hello, my friends, and thank you for joining Felice's Kitchen. Here, I just want to demonstrate to you some of my recent um, fermentation processes. I don't want to call it canning because canning is really when when you seal a, you know, you can. Basically, you, you use the jars and, and you boil the stuff and the pressure cookers. This is not that. This is a process of fermentation. So I want to give you a slow intro. And uh, I think I'm going to have to loosen. Maybe I should take my, my camera off the stand so I could give you an intro, intro of what everything is in here. Okay, so I just did this yesterday. These are onions with um, rosemary and herbs. And it is in bronze, so I better find some a space room in my fridge. Or hopefully it'll get cold out where I could store it outside in a safe place. And doesn't that look lovely? It, it is beautiful. Actually a beautiful sight. Uh, and here I have another jar. Okay. Just as lovely. I had to push it down a little bit. And um, I'm, I, I put, instead of putting a weight, I, I use affordable shot glasses to act as weights. And um, as you see how beautiful this is, I'm going to use even the brine. I put salt in it. I may put half a tea tablespoon of salt. Well, in this case, this is not four cups. It's usually two, two cups of water uh, would equal one tablespoon. This is not two cups. So I think it's okay. What, ha what I did was I used salted water because I, I allow my salt to melt down. And so, isn't this beautiful? And it's going to be very nutritious to eat. Okay, next, we have the garlic, fermented garlic in, in honey, okay? Now, why is it so dark? Why is it that when you go on, uh, on YouTube, you see a lot of people using a honey that's really light in color? Well, let me let you in on something. This is a local honey, which, of course, is what you're always told to do, right? It is buckwheat okay I understand and I'm not a professional so do your own research that buckwheat is the darkest and the darker the stronger the honey there you go so I chose to use dark honey and trust me it cost me I think you saw the price $30 just for that over here rather than using what you see here which are garlic cloves I used pieces of onion as well in within the buckwheat honey and you see how watery it is it's because the onion has released a lot of the water and this honey the the the, the onions will be dissolving as he did it did already on in another cup that i had okay so it's not a full cup i was just experimenting and it, it, the remedy is made easily it's not within days it's almost instantaneously Within a half hour, an hour, you have a lot of water from the, from the uh, uh, what do you call it, onion released. Uh, same thing with the uh, cloves. They float to the top minutes after you pour them in. So every day, you got to stir them. I go like that, and I go like that, so I could turn over the honey. And there's no part of it that's going to be available to yeast growth okay so it's important to start i've made my mistakes trust me uh, a lot of precious olive oil with rosemary and i had to dump it because i didn't know to shake it so over here you will see another fermentation process it this one has uh onions but it also has carrots in it and it has the same um i'm gonna close it now it has the same uh what do you call it herbs as the other one and here's another one same thing. Ooh, look at that. I put okra in this. So the okra, I got to make sure always to stir it to make sure it's got some of the salt keeping it. Okay. And then here's another jar. Look how beautiful this jar is. Okay. I've collected all these jars. It's been my, my little duty uh, that I've performed in going to uh, flea markets. And here we go. This is beautiful, isn't it? This is a kraut, a kraut uh, jar, or whatever you want to call it. Here we go. One, two, three. Boom. 
nice, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Nothing is floating above. And again, I'm going to shake it till I break it. No, I'm not going to break it, right? Shake it a little bit. So that way, everything on the top is wet and moist with the salt, okay? Shake it a little bit. I already uncovered most of them. Um, I'm, this one I don't need to uncover. I'm, I'm good with this. It's got a little gap on it. Anyway, it's doing good. It's doing quite well. And lastly, okay, I'm going to show you this one. Now, this one, I bought it used, and what happens is that it doesn't stay, it doesn't stick to the bottom by itself. It kind of like had an opening. Uh, this only, let me just hold on one second. Let me just, all right. So this one over here had an opening. It doesn't shut well. So as you can see, I put a, a shot glass in there to hold it down and look at the beauty of it. Uh, it's all salt, so I'm going to have to find room in my fridge again or create an outdoor fridge. So this is the process that I have been doing for a couple of days. Um, I hope you can appreciate it. But I do have a part two that I'm going to continue to do some fermentation. So I'll be right back in a different film. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye now.